Jam Bands Online, and I am here with Paul and Anders of Green Sky Bluegrass, and we are here at the Northwest String Summit at Horning's Hideout. Yeah. How do you guys feel about that? Grateful. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love it here. This is it's an amazing site, amazing festival. It's got yeah. some magic to it, doesn't it? Uh, yes. And this isn't your first time playing Can here. Can we just show them the magic? Can you point that over there for a second? Yeah, this is just, yeah. Just a nice little pond, lake thing. Stage is over there. Yeah, it's magic. Do you guys get to hang out back here behind the pond? Oh. What was that? It was a tree branch. <laughs> anyway, we do hang out by the pond. We hang out in the woods, mm -hmm. in the hills, on stage. In the back 40. Do you, get to, do you get to stay the whole weekend? We're staying some of the weekend, not the whole weekend this time. We usually try really hard to, because we love it here so much in general, but it didn't quite work out. We have to leave Saturday instead of Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get to leave Monday, thankfully. Nice. Well played. Yep. But business and pleasure, that's great that you get to enjoy it as well. Yes, it is. Yep, and this isn't your first time playing here. This is our third string summit, I think, or something like that. Maybe fourth. Maybe fourth. I've been here for a lot. I've been here for almost, well, I don't know. I gotta do the math. I've been here for a lot of string sums. I think it's Green's guy's fourth, though. I feel like that could be right. Yeah. They printed it in the schedule. We can consult it later. Oh, we can read about it. Good. Excellent. Excellent. No, well, if your memory fails you, always <laughs> take notes. Look to the people. <laughs> yeah, look to the people that are taking notes. Now, this is my first string summit. So, what can I expect from you guys? Um, you can expect a long, rowdy, fun set of screaming, hollering, <laughs> banging on things. Who didn't holler, eh? Yeah, who didn't holler? Yeah, so we're all going to lose our voices on Thursday. That's the goal. Absolutely. <laughs> we won't and, be the, and the rest of the yeah. weekend, we're just all going to be screwed. Well, we did this, we did this, <laughs> we did this last year where we get to play on Thursday night, um, and could be kind of, I guess, I guess headline Thursday night here, which... Is really cool because not a lot of bands get to play Horning's Hideout at night, <laughs> you know, unless you throw your own festival, unless you're Yonder or String Cheese or. That's I think it. there's an I think there's an electronic festival, so maybe. No, 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 no or, it doesn't happen you know, anymore. Doesn't anymore. Uh, well, bummer. So unless you're Yonder or String Cheese, you don't really get to play at night at Horning's Hideout, and we got to do it last year, and it was freaking awesome. I mean, it was one of the most fun sets of the year and you know the place is full and raging and I guess we did something right because we get to do it again this year and uh, hopefully, hopefully that becomes some sort of tra uh, tradition seems like well, you guys two years the, doesn't quite make a tradition yeah. but uh, it's a good start two, you guys are the headliners tonight two is a coincidence two is a coincidence yeah. three is a trend yeah or a pattern a pattern is established in the third interesting occurrence when does a tradition start after how many I'm not sure okay after one if you do it again that's a coincidence if you do it twice. Maybe, I'm thinking. We don't if know. you do it twice, so three times. Trend. Then a tr pattern is to begin to establish. So four? Maybe. I'll Maybe we'll four. We'll check see. Notes. I don't know. We'll, we'll, hopefully, check. <laughs> yeah, well hopefully we get to do this Thursday night thing forever. Full that would be fun. really great. I'm a big fan, so I'm no complaints here. Yeah, it kind of feels like home to us. you know. And a, and a lot of festivals feel that way all over the country, but I feel like I say that a lot, but... I really, really mean it here, you know, <laughs> it's like, it really feels like coming home when you drive down the hill. Um, so do you step difference. up your game when you play at Hornings? We try to step up our game every single show from the previous show, so the answer to that question is always yes, I suppose. But, yeah. um, you know, there'll be a lot of people here and they'll all be having a really great time, which forces us to up the ante, we can't help it get all that energy boiled into this little spot and it's bound to feel wild. Yeah. I think, and I mean, kind of for us and probably for a lot of bands, when you try it, try really hard to step up your game and be like, this is a big show or something like that, which, you know, happens more and more often. Uh, it doesn't necessarily work, you know, so we just, at least for me personally, it's more like, well, just do what we do and and don't stress out about it you know we're here for a reason people seem to like us I guess and you know want us to be here so we try and do what we do all the time but I'd like to think that what we do all the time 
is kind of like an A-game sort of show. You know, it's hard to explain and put into words, but... Well, that's what Jerry said about the Grateful Dead. He said that they always blew the big ones. Yeah, there's a lot of you know? a lot of jam band history has that. I won't name names, but uh, a lot of a lot of there's, a lot, there's a big history of that in the jam band scene. So, considering what day it is, August 9th, Jerry's death day, do you have anything planned? We'll see. Maybe. Is, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> well, it's cool. There's, a, I mean, there's a lot of Jerry stuff going on at this festival, being that uh, it's on the anniversary of his death and also his 70th birthday is this year, um, just about a week ago. So, and so uh, Jeff Austin and friends are doing a, a Jerry set, and I think Scott Law and Tony Furtado are doing a Jerry set. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, pretty cool. You know, it's cool that everybody sort of. Uh, recognizes the the impact that Jerry Garcia and the Great Flood had on this scene. I mean, on, on every music scene, be it jam bands, rock and roll, folk. And here we are, you know, playing bluegrass instruments, and there's that impact is, is still very strong. You know. What else can we expect from your set? What else can we expect? We have some new songs <laughs> yeah. here tonight. Some stuff we haven't played out here yet. That'll be fun. Yeah. Are you working on a new album? Uh, soon, maybe this winter. So we're we're working towards it. Mhm. So the new songs are not yet. Not yet recorded. A couple of them are barely played so far. So that'll be yeah. great. Yeah. Here's something yeah. really fresh. It's pretty fun to play those songs. You know, <laughs> like playing them for the first time or the first couple times. It's it's uh, you, you feel that rush, you know. You're like, oh boy, here we go. And we all kind of look at each other before, like, all right. And then you count it off and see what happens. Well, the energy of witnessing something new is amazing because, as a member of the audience, you feel like you're part of it because it's a test on you and you're the guinea pig. Yeah. Yeah. We don't so. really tell people that it's new because then we're afraid that they're gonna. We'll be under. We put under the microscope. I always want to, and I'm always about to say it in the microphone. Paul looks at me like because he usually writes the song, you know, usually his songs. And I'm like about to say, "This is a new song," and he looks at me like, "Don't do it," because then at that point, that first time played becomes uh, kind of analyzed immediately when you tell someone it's the first time. They're like, "Ooh, what is this?" And they start thinking about it, as opposed to just playing it, seeing them, seeing the audience and fans react. And have a really good time, and then you spring it on them. Oh, you liked it? That was a new song. We've never played it before. And then it's kind of like even more thankful. I don't know. I'm not sure what the right way to do it is, but we kind of do it that way usually. Oh, I guess. Unless I spill the beans <laughs> by accident. And then Paul looks at me like, "You can tell him. We got it now. Okay, we can tell him now. We got it." Well, it's an experiment, I suppose, all the time. Yeah, and that's that's why we do a lot of improvising on stage because. Um, that creating new music with the audience is like a big part of the show for us. And it's a big part of being musicians to all of us, I think, because everything's not so set in stone. And the opportunity to create something entirely unique for the environment always exists. Yeah, improvisation is a, it's a big part of our show. And you know, I, I don't really consider us to be a jam band at all, but we jam, you know, and... and so that kind of that kind of improvisational moments when it could go really well, or we could create something new and unique, or it could maybe not be that great. I mean, it's it's fun, you know. You kind of put put yourself out there musically and see what happens. And, uh, I think it keeps what we do pretty fresh to us, and, and therefore the audience as well. Does that make sense? Uh, mm-hmm. Well, I think there's a lot of inspiration here for improvisation. It's true. It's very true. I'm really looking forward to hearing your set. Thank you. Thanks. And uh, I thank you guys for your time, and it's been great meeting you. It is our pleasure. Have a good time on your first Hornings weekend. Yeah. It's not my first Hornings weekend. Oh, first it's my second. It's my first Spring Summit. There we go. Yeah, yep. well... 
Yeah, well then have a good time at your first string summit. And, and if, y'all are, if y'all are watching this on the uh, interwebs or even the internet, string summit is really fun and you should absolutely come here. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. It's already been magical. <laughs> already. And it's the first day. Maybe the music hasn't even started. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you.